This nickel Honda album fill series has taken us past 100 boxes to complete the first series album. Matter of fact, we've already hunted four boxes and have made great progress on the series two albums so far. That being said, we've got another nickel Honda album fill series episode, episode 63, and boxes 105 and 106 to go through. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. We're going to keep this intro a lot shorter than normal. I'm not going to show the books. You guys know what we need. For those of you new to the channel or new to the series, I do have a link to the playlist starting at box one, linked both down below in the video description, as well as pinned up here so you can get caught up before seeing where we're at on the books. That being said, you'll also recall that after the first 104 boxes for series one, we're stuck at 137 out of 138 nickels found. Just the 50D key date nickel continues to elude us. For the second series, after four boxes, 109 out of 136 nickels have been found. And we'll probably and hopefully find a few more additions and maybe some upgrades in these two boxes. Now, as many of you know, I always pop the top of my nickel boxes now since I've been getting a slurry of uncirculated nickels lately, and both these boxes, to my happiness, have been deemed circulated nickels. Unbelievable. So now that we've got a couple of boxes to hunt, we're gonna get right into the action. I'll be using my nickel coin hunts mat today, and we're gonna go ahead and check for varieties, proofs, V nickels, buffalo nickels, which have eluded us as well in the last several episodes, war nickels, which we've done well with, and any foreigns that we may encounter along the way. You guys know the drill. We're going to go ahead and kick off this hunt, roll one out of 100, box number one of two, and I'll bring you in if and when we find something worth mentioning. Roll number four of box one gets us started early with a 40s find. 1946 Jefferson nickel, not in that bad of shape. And that is a San Francisco mint. We'll take that. Nice to see a 46S in roll number four of box one. Roll number six, 1940, minted in Philadelphia. Roll number 22, and uh, I think it's a 1948. Pretty sure that's a 1948, Philadelphia. Let's just confirm that 48. Yeah, 1948, Philadelphia. Roll number 27. We've got another 1940s nickel. It is a 1940 on the nose from Philly. Roll number 30, a 1941 Jefferson nickel minted in Philly. Roll 31, 1947 minted in Philly as well. Roll number 36, got another 1947 nickel and again from Philadelphia. Roll number 46, another 1941, Denver. Well, the first box of the hunt is officially completed, and it was pretty much a ho-hum box. We had seven from the 50s, nothing fancy, eight from the 40s, nothing fancy, as you can see by the board. But that's only one box down. We have another one to go. So I'm hopeful that this box will at least fill in some of the holes and maybe slot us something nice. Let me go ahead and clear away the discards. We'll get hunting on box two next, 106 of the series, and I'll bring you in if we find something worth mentioning for the board. Roll 59 of the two box hunt, and we finally have our first find of the second box. Pretty nice, 1941. I think that's a Denver, but let me just double check. No, it's an S, and it threw me off because of the damage. 41S, we'll take it. Roll number 65 of the hunt, and we've got a 1942 nickel facing us. And judging by the patina, it's going to be a regular nickel, not a silver war nickel. And it is a 42 Philadelphia, so we can't even check for that D over horizontal D. But I think that's a nicer 42 than we have in the second book. And maybe it'll upgrade one of the books for sure. Now let's find some silver or buffaloes, because I don't even know the last time we saw a buffalo nickel in one of my nickel hunts. Same roll and just a few coins later, we've got a pretty nice 1940 Jefferson nickel. And I can't tell if there's a mint mark yet. 
and there is not, but that's a pretty nice 1940 Jefferson nickel, and I think that'll upgrade one of the albums for sure as well. Maybe the box is heating up. Roll number 73 will provide us with yet another nickel from the 1940s, and this one's gonna be 1940 on the nose from Philly. Roll 75, and second to the last coin in the roll is a damaged 1940. And I don't think it has a mint mark, but the damage is making it tough to validate. And I think that is just damage. So, a damaged 1940 from Philly. Roll number 79, and the ender, which I should have looked at, but it's a 1940 Denver. And we've had a kind of a run of 1940s recently. And there is another nickel right here that looks like it could be older as well by the strike. So we'll take a peek since I have you here. And that's another 1940. And that's a 1940S in better shape than the last one. Roll number 80. We're going to have a 1948 nickel. Second time we found one of these. And that's a 48 Denver. Roll 91. And we have a find other than a 1940. But it's a 1941. Philly. Roll number 96. And uh, what do you know? Another 1941. Denver. A lot of 40s and 41s in this box. Roll number 98. We've got another 1946. Philadelphia. We'll wait. See if it's a Henning nickel. And it's within range, so it's not a Henning nickel. But always fun to find a 46. Philly in your hunts. Well, that's going to do it for that two box hunt. And you know what? We had 15 finds in box one and 15 finds in box two. 10 in the 50s, 19 in the 40s, and an 09D. I did pull out a couple of decent 60s nickels. I'll check against Series 2 album, but no 50D, so we know we have nothing for Series 1. And I don't know how many of these nickels we're going to use for Series 2. Maybe a couple if we're lucky. I also want to mention that I think we're on a 6-plus box streak of not finding a Buffalo nickel, and that's a lot for my area. We also got skunked on silver this time, and the silver's been really good lately, so it was odd to search 100 rolls and not see a Silver War nickel. Either way, this series is about completing albums, so let's go ahead and bust out the albums, compare the finds, and I'll bring you back to let you know if we had any additions and or upgrades. All right, we have combed through the finds, and obviously we didn't have any additions because we didn't find the 1950D for Series 1 album one and none of the finds could upgrade any of the nickels in that book we also didn't have any upgrades for series two book two from 64 to 1998 nothing that i found i thought was worthwhile of upgrading in that album as far as series two book one we did have six upgrades the best upgrade was getting rid of this corroded 42p that we found in the last episode and we plugged that guy in right there after the six upgrades, we did actually have three additions of 40D, a 41S, and a 1948 D. So let me plug those in. I'll be right back with some final thoughts and a final look at the album. All right, we have got those three additions plugged into book two. And after 106 boxes, series one has still stalemated at 137 out of 138 nickels. Just need that 50D. For Series 2, we have 112 out of 136 spots filled through six boxes. So, making progress in Series 2, stalled on Series 1, but with only three additions out of 100 rolls, it's starting to look like Book 2 is starting to get very difficult to fill up as well. On top of that, I also feel like the Buffaloes have migrated out of my area because we have not seen a Buffalo nickel in quite some time. And... No silver in that box whatsoever. Despite the lack of finds, I still had fun hunting through those rolls, and I hope you had fun watching me as well. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.